Let's go to Coleman. Let's go to Christian Coleman in the 60. Another big favorite. Looked good in Milrose, but we haven't seen him much since then. Ran 649. As I mentioned, though, he is the expected winner in this race, in part because he's a world record holder, and this is a dominant event for him, but also because Trayvon Bromel, second best guy in the U.S., isn't running, and it's hard to pick somebody who you think could match Coleman. I mean, how quick do you think he will go here, and what do you think he needs to do to, to really feel good about that potential showdown with Lamont Marcel Jacobs at World Indoors? Um, I don't think he needs to do anything special. I think he just needs to show consistency. I think he just needs to, like, you know, first round, run a low 6-5, and then final, run a mid 6-4. And be like, all right, I, I put together the back-to-back -back mm -hmm. races that if I replicate this at World Indoors, that's going to result in a title. I don't think he needs to do anything crazy. He doesn't need to, you know, flirt with, you know, low six fours. He doesn't need to do anything yeah. out of this world. I think he just needs to be like, show an easy dominant prelim and then show an easy dominant final because it's it, the competition is not going to be that good. I mean, Ronnie Baker is the really the only true guy <laughs> that can challenge him. And Baker mm. isn't running six fours right now. I mean, there's other guys like Cravant Charleston who ran 652, yeah. but Cravant Charleston's not going to beat Christian Coleman. I mean, Christian Coleman owns the CC initials. Cravant Charleston's not going to take the CC initial yeah. title from him. It's big. Yeah, it's big. You know? It would be cool, though, if they do go one, two, because then you have a CC, C, C podium. Be Sweet. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think C, 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 it's just. It's just interesting that Jacobs has ended up racing more in the indoor season than Coleman has. I think, yeah, mid six fours is a good target for him. That's the fastest time in the world this year. Six four eight is fastest time by an American. But I think I think low six fours, mid six fours, maybe he's going to win in. At World Indoors, and you know Jacobs has run six forty seven, but he hasn't done it this year. He's been really consistent in in the six fives. I think he can go back down and high six fours. I think he can go down to six forty seven. But if Coleman runs six forty three in Serbia, I just don't think Jacobs is going to be able to to meet him there. So I think he's going to want something south of six forty five at this meet. Um, but that's certainly doable. And main main priority for him is qualifying, and I think that's in the cards because you just look at the field. It's, it's pretty doable for, for Coleman, even if he has a, a B minus race to get through. I really wish someone like Michael Williams could be in this race against Coleman. It's so Michael Williams, mm -hmm. young kid out of Oregon runs six forty eight twice now. Yeah. That would really push Coleman to need to be on his best, but you know, there's just not as much depth. I mean, Marvin Bracey, yes, Marvin Bracey is there. But Marvin Bracey also hasn't run, so you don't know exactly. what yeah. Bracey we're getting. Are we getting like a rusty Bracey? Are we getting a shiny Bracey? Are we getting like a, a malleable Bracey? I don't know. You know, last – you don't know what Here's Bracey the group. getting. I could see Bracey making it. I could see Charleston making it. I could see Baker making it out of that group along with Coleman. But then after you go past that, you're really reaching to try to figure out who could join Coleman on the team. I and mean, Carnes has run 6.53 this this year. Demet Kemp's run 6.48 in his career. But of the guys who are um, on the start list, it's just there's not a ton of combinations of people. So you feel really good about about having Coleman in there. Um, so. I, I, I'm guessing mid sixes for him, and I think 6:45 would be would be a good sign for him going into the World Indoor Championships.